I'm going to show you how to get an S rank on destroy the drive block in Armored Core 6. So to do this, you can just use my build. I think this is a great build for this and for most things in this game. Just dual Gatling guns in the arms and then dual stun needle launchers on the shoulders. We're going to mainly focus the build on these legs. They give you a lot of weight, but let you maintain legs, which lets you have a lot more mobility and as far as directional immobility compared to tank legs or something. And then with that, you just stack on as much AP as you can. My gear is a little outdated here. I could probably get some more AP by buying some stuff in the parts shop, but I just don't, it's not really a big deal for me. And then the only specialty thing, I'm mean, going to have the VP20D in order to support all this energy output, but the only special thing you have that you can't get at the store is gills. And like I said in a bunch of different videos about this is you can go to chapter four, depth two. It's in a chest in a side room here. You'll hit a point, you hit a dead end, and it has you go back the way you came, and it's right around there if that helps at all. Uh, but that's where you get the gills. It lets you, it lets you dodge way more frequently than the standard uh, boosters, and I think that's really helpful, for, especially for this build. But either way, that's all the prep for it. That's what I'm going to use to do it. Hopefully it helps you out with that. And now let's go ahead and get an S rank in the... Uh, uh, destroy the drive block mission in Armored Core 6. So in Oregon S rank, we go as fast as we can, take as little damage as possible. We just want to be consistent as possible uh, with all that on this uh, first part because the Archibus Balteus fight is such a run killer. We just want to get to that with as, as reasonably as possible and then just go all in on it and hope that we get a good fight. And that's like all we can do. Alright, so I've restored my boost while shooting by being on the ground, which lets me immediately turn around and leave. We gotta kill these guys real fast, and then we don't have to kill them necessarily. So we wanna dodge the purple laser. Head over to here. Alright, we killed one of those things. I'm just gonna ignore the other. I gotta wait and get my boost back. We're just going to kill that. We're going to get out. Get my boost. Oh my god. I came out right. Dude, that thing literally like pre-fired the corner. What the hell? I've never had that happen. Let's get my boost back. Well, I took more damage than I would have liked, but it really isn't a big deal as long as you don't take a crazy amount of damage. Because it really just comes down to the Archaeus Baltius fight, and if you you just go all in and hope you get a good one, as long as you get to it without taking a crazy amount of damage. Well, that was an awful start to this fight. Oh my god, this is literally the worst fight I've ever had against this guy. He's just like accidentally dodging every single one of my things by just coincidence. All right, this is literally like the absolute worst fight. So if you're watching this, it means I must have kicked Baltius's ass on this one because this is like absolutely terrible. That's a little better. Man, having these guns over overheated sucks. Okay, I was being greedy just standing there, but... Alright, so... Honestly, if you do this battle in the first half, it's very tempting to just reset, because even a good Baltius fight is gonna be... ...a slugfest, but... I don't know, it's up to you whether or not to go for it. I'm gonna go for it if you're watching this, I must have gotten it, obviously, but... Oh, this would be tempting to reset. That was a lot of damage that I took. So we're gonna wait by this door and go in. Now we gotta go through the rat's nest. Uh, there's nothing really to know here other than you just need to memorize. Oh, I did not mean to press that. Uh, just need to memorize it. So, we can go through here. There's actually multiple ways to go through. I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Go out here. Get this. Alright, now we're going to fly up here. All right, I'm going to come up a little bit short on my boost, unfortunately. All right, now the actual run killer. Um, so with this build, the best thing is we just go as hard as we can on him and go as fast as we can, try to dodge as much as we can while doing it. And if we die, we just reset. 
It's better than trying to master the mechanics and fight him like 500 times just to make sure you can get him consistently. It's better to just go in hard and try to dodge what you can and just get a good fight with like a little bit of luck and a little bit of skill. Call the day. But there's a thing we can do at the beginning here. All right, so that's a good way to start it. Oh, he did so much. All right, we can get him with a double stun by getting him like that. Oh. Oh, that was such bad. That was the absolute worst timing for a stun. Oh, we got him. Okay. I mean, it's not over yet, but we just got him out of his p crazy ability. No, we almost had him the easy. We almost had the easy two cycle or whatever. Yes. Although I took way too much damage. If you can, if you can get an S rank for that, then there's an insane amount of leeway, because I just took. Oh, what did I take? Let me think. I took like 22,000 AP of damage there. So I turn out if that's an S rank, then all you got to do is beat him because that was stupid how much damage I took. That was awful. But it was insanely fast. So if I get an S, if I get an S, it's because you can go insane. If you go insanely fast, you get more leeway, but we'll see here in a sec. I mean, obviously, if you're watching this, it had to have been an S rank, but just I'm in shock if it is still. All right, here we go. Probably an A. Maybe it's an S. Oh, my God, this is suspense. That's an S. That's all you need for an S. That kind of blows my mind, honestly, doing this. I just expected an A after doing all the other levels and getting S. Uh, but apparently, if you go fast enough, then it doesn't matter that you take 22,000 AP of damage against Archibus Bal Bal Balteus, Bal Balteus, whatever it was called. Um, so yeah, that's the trick, I guess. Just use this build and go extremely hard. If you die, you die. But if you get him fast, then you have an insane amount of leeway with taking a trillion damage and doesn't even matter anymore. So there you go. Hopefully it helps you out, guys. That's how to get an S rank on Destroy the Drive Block in Armored Core 6.